What's up YouTube? This is Danny's Reef Tank. I'm going to show you an update. Haven't done one in a while. Kind of wanted to space it out so you can really see some growth on this tank. I got a lot of new products. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank MA Fish Guy for uh, hosting that contest. I ended up being the lucky winner. I got a $50 grand prize and I'm going to show you all what I bought with that money. Um, I recently ordered a RODI system. I got this from Bulk Reef Supply. Bulk Reef Supply. I have not unwrapped it yet. Uh, just got my salt today, so I haven't had the chance to mix any salt or anything, so I haven't really messed with it. Um, it was 130, I believe, with the uh, their Black Friday deal. I ordered it on Black Friday, and uh, or not Black Friday, it was Black Friday weekend, or they're doing some kind of special or something like that. I don't know. It was a few days after Black Friday. They still had the special running, uh, so I got a really great deal on that. I had, uh, of course, fifty dollars from. Uh, MA Fish Guy, so this ended up costing me about $50. I also ended up getting a new siphon. Haven't did a water change with this yet. Just went to the fish store today. So uh, this looks kind of cool. I haven't had one of these with the, uh, I guess like the pump type deal to start it instead of just uh, the gravity flowing down in the water. But um, also finally got my salt mix I'm going to go with. I'm going to test out this... Uh, Red Sea Coral Pro Salt. This is a 55 gallon bucket. A little bit more expensive than my local fish store. It's $35. But at least I'm sorting, su supporting the local. Also, uh, this is just kind of cool. There's a comic book store, like, literally, like, not even half a mile away from uh, the fish store. So I went there today. Got a really cool, like, Ninja Turtles cover. I'm just going to hang this up on the wall. Throw it over there with my, uh, I guess, my superhero comic stuff. Uh, but this is cool. It's ten bucks. I mean, it's like the fifth uh, comic book Ninja Turtles made. It's the second cover though, so it's just a little bit older than the fifth one. So it's kind of like five point five. But yeah, really cool. November uh, nineteen eighty seven. It came out ten bucks. Why not? The frame wasn't ten bucks, but the comic was ten bucks. Um. So uh, here's the fish tank. Sorry about all that. Um, first off, I'm going to start off this torch coral. You can see now it's really branching out. It's really got two heads. Not sure how clear it is now in there, but that's really good growth I've got. I don't believe I've shown you all my green toadstool, whatever you call this, with the long polyps. But I really hope that turns into like the mushroom shape soon. I know it's a pretty fast grower from what, grower from what I read. Um, this coral's always doing good. I think it's like a galaxy or something like that. Duncan's have been really branching out, especially this one back here. It's It's got a good bit of heads now. I'm not sure, whatever. And you see that long uh, extension that's going that way, so that's going to be good. Whatever pallies these are that were always on my rocks. Been growing a lot. Bubble algae right there, always growing. Not a coral, nothing bad from it. Just a nuisance, kind of, but I kind of like it. Oh, uh, that digi is really brightened back up. Hard to capture it with this uh, LED lighting. Makes the colors a little bit off in the tank. There's the blending. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Frog's Bond doing great. Um, they haven't really had a war or anything, so that's good. Anemone really open up right now. You can see that Black Clownfish is really hosting it. I feed that uh, twice a week with... Uh, frozen brine right now I've been kind of reading in the live brine doing the MA fish guy contest again so I'm hoping I can win some live brine so check out his channel um yeah he doesn't host it I, I don't know I mean he, he'll go in and out of every once in a while but he doesn't stay in it like the black guy kind of disappointing blue mushroom up top doing great batteries flicking so this might end up short um whatever you call this thing is really grown some SBS I love that thing. Uh, eagle eyes, both of my frags are doing great, doing great, especially this one right here. I think that one's got a head or two growing on it right now that you can't really see. That one's just doing good. Um, red Monty, I, I've never had good luck with Red Montes. Uh, this one's not going to live, as you can see. White on one half, red on the other half. So we'll see what happens within the long run. Mushroom's doing great. Um, Sunkiss Monty, it's hanging in there. I don't think it's going to make it in the long run, but it's not showing really any major signs of death. Maybe just on that top edge. I don't know if my 
yeah, Hydra's strong enough for SPS. Um, this bird's nest. It's kind of getting some of its color back. So maybe my SPS will make it. I don't know. That's the good note on SPS is that one and uh, that one right there. Bubble coral doing great. I feel like that thing's gotten huge recently, which could be a good or a bad thing. I know they're real predatorial. Um, blue, I don't know, what's it called? Like stronium or something weird like that with the S. They have been growing a good bit right there. I'll put them right there if y'all haven't seen that. That green stuff, don't know what it's called. Doing great. Yellow polyps down here. They're, God, they have been multiplying. Um, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Yep, there you go. Zoom out a little bit. Um, I think that's about seven big heads now. I see a lot of smaller heads around the base starting to grow. So they're doing really good. Uh, Green Bay Packers, those down there have been growing, I believe. Those are my uh, blood red, or kin red, sorry. Kin red zoos. They're growing in a weird way. I don't know if I like those right there. Uh, I got another thing of blue tubs down here that I moved from up top. Uh, I hasn't really seen it open yet still. Uh, those purplish looking zoos doing great. Purple's back there doing great. Blue's doing great. They've been growing like crazy. That uh, Duncan's doing wonderful. Green mushrooms doing great. I believe there's supposed to be some green bay zoos on that uh, frag, but looks like they got moved into the mushroom, so I didn't move that. They're probably getting stung up. Um, eagle eyes, there's four heads on this now. I don't know why the two down there are closed, but those are starting to uh, multiply. Aiken corals have really uh, opened up now. So you can kind of see those green ones really have. Red and pink, not so much yet, but there's another small head. Mike can see it starting to grow. They're just falling over. Those pallies or zoas, whatever those are, look great. These are growing everywhere on that frag prolog. I don't have nowhere to put it, so I'm just going to just let it grow down there. It's not going to look as good as it would on a rock, but kind of full of zoas, and I didn't really want those in my tank, honestly. <laughs> so I'm just going to let them grow down there until I take them. Some of this stuff right here, these, uh, these two zoas, I'll probably end up taking to the fish store even once they cover the frag plug. Uh, same with that digi, if it grows up, I'll take that trade it in. Um, there's some uh, orange yellow looking zoos right there doing great. Toadstool doing wonderful. This Aiken, I love this Aiken, you know. Put it right by this edge so people walking by my door, like family, friends, and whatnot, see my tank, but oh, that's really cool. Yeah, Feather Duster doing great. These, uh, I can't tell if they're melting or not, but they, they're struggling. They're struggling zoos right there. This mushroom, random, doing good. I, frog spawn right there or hammer I can't tell what it I might be a hammer it's looking more like a hammer now that it's actually starting to grow so it might be doing good give you a cool picture of this uh Sam Simpson starfish I saw him over here earlier I've noticed he does climb the cloth every once in a while and tries to get on the rocks for just a little bit and then he go back in the sand but it looks real cool pistol goby shrimp live down there they're doing great of course, all the fish are doing great. I might be maxed out on livestock for this tank for a while. Other than I do plan to get a clam still. And probably a few more Aikens. But I'm just going to kind of let everything grow. And I didn't even see this, but looks like some Xania somehow got out of there. So that'd be cool. Need something moving, uh, some kind of movement down there growing. Oh, but uh, I'll go down to the sump, give you a view of that, what I've done down here. Once again, apologize for this video being long. Just haven't really did a full update in a while. Um, as you can see, I took out all that live rock down here. It was just, it was a nitrate factory. Took it out, siphoned a bunch of junk. What I actually ended up siphoning it with, I still need to get those rocks out right there. It's just really hard. A lot of gunk up in there too that I gotta siphon out. And uh, protein skimmer, you can see that gunk, it gets out that nice dark thin layer right there. I dumped it yesterday, so it's not much, but it really does do great. That's a Reef Octopus Pinwheel, I believe, 110 model. In case anyone under 10 gallon sump. Uh, Marine Land heater. Got two power heads. I got an Aquaman 500 that's uh, broke, so it doesn't stick on, so it's down there in this main compartment. 
Then I got a Coraline Nano right there. MP10, uh, bulkhead, some stife stuff. Yeah, Magflow, really good product. AI Hydra Light. Uh, so what I used the siphon the bottom with was my old um, siphon tubing. Just the tubing though. I just because the bottom part, top part was cracked, so it was aggravating to use anyway. So uh, it's really good to use down there. It's nice and slow. You can really aim at what you want to get sucked out of there. And I was just pulling out like brown gunk. So uh, that was probably what the cause of this hair algae. Up uh, there is. So I'm going to do that again. Uh, my next water change, get some more junk out. Get some more of those smaller rocks that I didn't pick up. I was just it's getting lazy. So yep. You know, I do dose some stuff in my tank in case anyone's wondering. I got a dose to restore probably once a week now. Magnesium once or twice a week, probably five five milliliters on magnesium. Restore, if I use restore, I use five milliliters. Uh, liquid reef I use about every other day. Probably about five to ten milliliters depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, I usually do dose the liquid one at night. Uh, reef code A and B I do about every other day. I do uh, 5 to 10 milliliters on that too. I check my chemicals about, you know, once one or two weeks I do it. I use uh, Ocean Nutrition Formula 1 Marine Pellets. I also use the Ocean Nutrition, I believe it's the Live Brime. So yeah, um, plans right now, just learn how to mix water properly, get maybe my water set up. And then, um... Still need to get a refractometer for this tank to get more precise. And there's a few other like equipment things I still want to get an auto top off. So um other than a clam probably coming up in the near future. I'm not expecting too many corals within this next month. But who knows after Christmas I might get some money for the fish store, gift cards and whatnot. So I might you might see some new stuff in this tank. So uh keep watching YouTube and I'll show you what I'm doing with my RODI system and how I got that running uh Probably like a week or two. Got finals right now, so not too focused on the fish hobby this uh, next week coming up. But thanks for watching YouTube. Subscribe.